All right, guys, it's August 6th, I believe it's Saturday, doing the follow-up to my Radiant Barrier. It's 88 degrees out now in Atlanta on the weekend, Saturday. It's about, I would call it 3, 4 o'clock, 88 degrees. So I wanted to see how much cooler it is up here. I'm supposed to be within 5 degrees. So let's, uh, I got my little radar gun, let me get this set up. So let me turn the red dot off so it gets the general air temperature in here. So it's 93 and a half degrees. It's 88 degrees out. So I'm right around at five degree differential. Now this is the side that the sun's beating on. So 94, so six degrees come difference. Now if I go over here to where the sun is already passed over, it's a little bit less, 91.2. But what's interesting is I cut a hole up the rafters, the side the house is on to see how hot the deck board is beneath the shingles at all the hot air is traveling through. Watch this. How hot do you think it is? Hundred and thirty hundred and thirty eight degrees would be radiating in here all day, well most of the day long, heating up this area. Maybe not to 138, but you know, at least maybe 130, 128, but now it's only 93 degrees in here. Let's do this again. 93 degrees, roughly, if I move it around. Just to show that this is working, I'll put the red light on, put it on the condenser area. A lot cooler if I can get it on the actual line. So 85, but I can't hit the actual metal line. It's all sealed up, but there you go. Deck boards are at 137 degrees. It's only, again, 93 degrees in here. So a, roughly a five year, five degree variance by putting this radiant barrier up. I'm just gonna tape that up with radiant tape. We'll be good to go. And um, <clears throat> keeps this attic a lot cooler so the AC can work better. And, you know, one thing we didn't talk about is when you spray, if people do the spray foam, there's nowhere for the heat to go. So those actual roofing shingles bake and they warp and you can void your warranties with using the shingles with the um, spray foam because the foam doesn't let the heat through. So it just bakes the shingles basically. It does keep the house sealed and what have you, but there's other drawbacks, right? If there's leaks and what have you, but it's basically your shingles are going up to God knows how hot, 200 degrees, 195, probably void the warranty. And that's why um, your shingles will bake, but that's not the case here. The air, so again, let's do this here. So the deck board's 140. If I do just the air that's flowing in there, you know, I guess it's gonna be the same. 140 basically but again on the opposites i wonder how hot the radiant is the radiant barrier is only 93 degrees which is what the degrees are in the attic here basically so 140 to 95 94 degrees there you go radiant barrier what a difference and half the cost of spray foam and not so hard to work with if you need to get in there. God bless everyone. I know it's been a long time before I did the follow-up to this, but there's the proof in the pudding. Take care.